the nature of the soul is to awaken. The nature of the ego is to resist that awakening as long as possible. A lot of spiritual practices tend to view the ego as the enemy. Shamanism takes the perspective that the ego is not an enemy, but a necessary uh, resource and a friend. But that only by integrating the ego into the spiritual process of the soul's awakening can we engage that friend and have it be a support in our growth and awakening. The ego can act as a chrysalis from which the soul can emerge rejuvenated, transformed, awakening into our lives, into our actions and thoughts and deeds in a real and substantial way. These practices of post-tribal shamanism allow us in this modern post-technological world to access the profound truths of the human condition as they are practiced within traditional cultures, as they have been practiced by human beings for thousands of years. There is within each and every one of us the profound need for wholeness. These practices help us to move forward in this journey of self-discovery, realization, and awakening. It may feel like your primary attraction to the idea of shamanic journeying is purely curiosity. What I would suggest to you is that sometimes our souls can be sneaky. Sometimes the soul allows the ego to have an idea that takes it further in the direction of the soul's intention. Quite often those movements arise from something where the ego says, well, this might be a good idea. I'm, I'm a little bit curious here. I think I might want to go take a look. This sounds really interesting. And what's actually happening is that the soul is gradually, gently drawing you toward it. Drawing you into deeper awareness. I'd like to say a little bit about what we mean when we use the word soul as well. This can be a very confusing term. So I want to be clear that when I'm talking about the word soul, I mean more than one piece of our deeper self. We have for instance, a part of our soul that we receive from our ancestors. And in one way, this is simply manifesting as the vitality, the life force of our physical bodies, that which allows us to draw breath and to live this life that we're gifted with. And yet in another way, it is also a huge communal self that engages not only ourselves and our descendants, but all of those who stand behind us, all of our biological ancestors, in one communal awareness. We add to this the soul which has also lived lifetimes before, what I refer to as the celestial soul. And this is the soul that has been reborn time and time again into human form. The integration of these souls into the person we are now, through the means of the ego, is very much the human experience. And it is this experience which we are in the process of bringing to a greater degree of awareness and awakening. 